here at the Watford Coliseum is hoping for a Jimmy White victory. It's not a new experience for White to have that kind of support. It can be a double-edged sword. It's fine if you're playing well and things are going well, but if you're not confident and things aren't going so well, then it, it, it can feel very difficult to fulfil a huge burden of expectation. I agree with everything you say. I guess he's used to it now, isn't he? He's had it all his life, Jimmy White, this kind of support, because he's an entertainer. And he's only got 10 minutes to entertain us here. Jimmy playing off, uh, thin off the bunch, I think, just waiting for another chance to come. Or a chance to come, I should say. Not played a particularly threatening safety shot. Jen Jay will probably play the bottom red here, the one just above the black. Doesn't really want to open the bunch up at this point. Always hit the blue four ball, it's a terrible shot. It's a terrible safety shot, it's not unlucky. And White is in first. Well, it's all about picking up the speed of this table. To labour a point, it is like grease lightning. Eight. And playing in a pretty rowdy atmosphere won't put him off. No, Nine. he's played in a few of those before, exhibitions and back in his youth. A few of the clubs I went in, Jimmy went in snooker clubs, so they weren't a place where there was much quiet, I can tell you. 16. Especially when there was money matches or horse racing on the TV, all sorts going on. That cue ball has stopped just in time. 17. Now, does he go into the bunch or play on the loose red? It's decision time. Well, I think in a, maybe a longer form of the game, he might have opted to go into the bunch, but he's looking to just mop up what's there for the moment. 20. Played it well. He needs an angle on the black. I don't know that he's got a very a good angle. Just a straight. May have to play on the double here. Yeah, I think that's a sensible move. Playing on the double, the, the, the pack split wasn't really 28. on. Very nicely done. Has he got an angle this time? I don't know. Slight angle. This pot just going in for now. Oh, great shot. Great effort. 36. Not the best outcome, though. Andy, 36 and run away, though. That's a fine contribution, continuing where he left off yesterday, Claire. Yes, very calm, very cool. 36. Very controlled. He's fully at home. In this sort of atmosphere. Oh, that is a stunning pop. That is out of the top draw. One. Chen Jay got on the tour by coming through Q School last May. to make much of an impact but he made an impact on the pack of reds as he's not covered that red by the pink there what does he do he's got to be a little if he plays the black he's asking for trouble if he misses it this has to go in the reds are scattered just beautifully 
He has missed it. Now, that was the worry. He couldn't put the reds better if he was just have a practice session than they are. And he's got bags of time. One. But has he got the temperament? And the keyboard has again just gone Eight. on and on. Ten second shot clock now in operation. He's not as straight on it as he would like. Your question has been answered for the moment. Clive, that was a great chance. Well, it was. He lost the cue ball anyway. But the force was enough to cover the red, which was adjacent to the pocket. Yes, but it, it, as it happens, Jimmy played a clever shot there, cleared it, and left nothing easy. Great Clive. shot. My only worry about Chen Jay is it, he takes in a long time working out the shot and uh, the beeps are always going to come into play. He's literally on the last second every time he hits the ball and that's leaving him rushed. Chen Zhen won. So Jimmy White's chance. One to clinch a place in the third round. Well, that eight. was a foul shot. Foul. Thank you. Jimmy White, eight, five, Chen Ze. A very unusual foul. Yes, in hand, sorry. Now, Ben Williams needs to get composed here. Balls in hand, and uh, that was an extraordinary foul. It, it's not like it just moved, it moves about f three or four feet. One. Quite an amazing foul. Look at this. <clears throat> A rest foul. Mm, and all of a sudden. Eight. The crowd are, are slightly silenced. The Jimmy White fans have been slightly subdued. No. Their man is in trouble here. It's out of his hands for the moment. This is not an automatic clear up, though, far from it. Especially after that shot. That was absolutely 16. dreadful. Dreadful shot to finish there. a bit slow off the mark and he's ended up having to rush every shot so he's, he's not really suited to this format i don't think but there's still two minutes left and there's still time for him to win this match it's been a quite a dramatic eight minutes or so this one a lot of incident for that you know playing the container but it was so much against his nature to have done that even in a format like this now One. let's see if he can get these shots in in time without really having to rush the last stroke Eight. Well, red and the black here and Chen Jay is in front Got his nose in front at the right time. Goodness me. This is a very tense game now. The punt stays out. White is still five in front. Well, he's just got to leave. No obvious shot here. 
because really Chen Zhe could knock this ready and I think he might have to go for this cut it into the right corner and the match is his because I think he's there waiting for him well I'm not sure if that shot's going to win him anything and so he's through the snooker is he Jimmy just going to take as long as he can on this there's no need to rush Jimmy Nine. I can't believe he didn't play it a little. Six, five, <laughs> Why did he play four, it so quickly? Three, two, one. But there isn't any time for Chen Zhe. Jimmy White falls over the line by a single point. 45 to 44. What a way. 